Salam everyone, what's going on? If we look exhausted, it's because we are. We are exhausted. We just dropped a Dumi off at my in-laws house, so Mohammed's mm -hmm. parents' house, because we have a lot to get done. Plus, we're packing today. Yeah. Here's the thing. When we travel, Omaya is always <laughs> in a miserable mood. It's not on purpose, it's just that she wants the house to be squeaky clean I mean, and everything organized. But I mean, even though we know when we're leaving, it's always the day before. I know. So this time around, we're like, let's not do the day before. How about we do it two days before? After what? 11 years of traveling, we now learn our lesson now? After I, I still, having Adam? I still don't think we've learned our lesson because here's the thing. <laughs> the packing is not even the issue this time around. It's cleaning the house. I don't know why. I have this thing in my mind that whenever we do travel, the house has to be squeaky clean. Like, it just has to be clean. Why? I don't know. We are not going to have guests. No one is going inside our home. But I like that feeling of coming back home to a clean house. You don't want to come back to a messy house. Yeah. It's not that it's dirty. It's just that you don't want to walk into the couch. There's clothes there. His toys are everywhere. We just want to make it sure it's organized. So when we come well, back, we're like... That and also we have so much clothes, guys. Like yeah. just so much stuff everywhere. And I find it really difficult to pack in a mess. So if you've been following me on Instagram, then you notice that the last two days we've gone through all of our closets, yeah. basically took all the clothes out, all the shoes out, all the accessories, hats and belts and everything. I took it all out of the closet so we could go through it properly and figure out what we're going to keep, yeah. what we're taking on the trip and what should be donated. Sometimes like when I look at stuff, I'm like, oh, I got it, but let me just wait till I drop five, 10 pounds yeah. and get into it. This time around, we're like, bro, if it doesn't fit, let's donate. Yeah. Like it's not. Unless there's like one piece of item that you, you're just like attached that to. The motivational one. The motivational item or something that, you know, holds a memory, then those items I'll keep. And of course, honestly, yeah. it's just very few of those. That being said, we had like 10 bags of clothes that we donated earlier this week, alhamdulillah. And right now it's just gonna be cleaning time. We gotta go stop and get a bin because we got to take all down all of our decorations that we put up a few weeks ago, which is sad. I know. But um, like what I mentioned before, we're going to be out for a while. So we just kind of want to, you know, take down the decorations. Yeah, it won't be in Ramadan it. when we yeah. come back. No, no, no. But we want to organize things. So inshallah, when the next time comes around, it's easy for us just to open yeah. the bin. He loves beat. Let's, let's get beat. What about spinach? Yeah, he also loves spinach. How many should I get of this? We should get like, I don't know, like six so or eight. So we do three and three? Yeah, six or eight. Four. It is a long flight. Adam is super Egyptian. He loves mm -hmm. mango. What about this one? What is organic. This one? this one is Serenity Kids. Oh, okay. Um, organic coconut cream, butternut, squash, and spinach. Yes, yes, that's a good one. All right, so this is good. Maybe yeah. let's get two more. The thing is, since Adam stopped breastfeeding, yeah. we don't know what to substitute it with, and he wakes up kind of like angry and hungry. So yeah. we don't want to be on a long flight not knowing what to do with a cry. Or not eating, have so. enough food or snacks yeah. for him. Yeah, but because the it is the is, first is like, time. Yeah, but the good thing is, is like it's not going to go to waste. So if he doesn't eat it right away, he'll eat it. Yeah, yeah, so eventually. We're just trying to be cautious. Trip. All right, so now we are looking into bins. I think we're gonna go for this one. It's yeah. a decent size and it should fit all the decorations that we have, which is not much. This one's okay? Yeah, we don't have much, honestly. It's just like the Ramadan letters and the lights, so that should be fine. Okay, I think we're done. We got snacks, we got makeup wipes, and now the bin. Yeah. Let's go home and pack. Yeah. We've been moving non-stop since we've gotten back. I mean, at least you could see that this area is empty. When I tell you, I wish I would have recorded it, but I was so in my zone. You guys, this entire floor, no kidding, was filled with clothes. My clothes, Muhammad's clothes, Adam's clothes. I just finished all the laundry and it just, <sighs> you know? I feel like I can breathe. So let me show you what I've done so far. So this corner right here is not the most aesthetically pleasing corner. This is all of Adam's clothes that I'll be taking with us. Undershirts, shorts, pajamas, um, beach outfit, uh, what else? More pajamas, towels. What we have left now is to pack my stuff and to pack Muhammad's things. So he's done with his clothes. 
Like he picked out everything that he's taking. I still need to do that. But before I even get to myself, I want to store all the Ramadan decorations away. So you're doing the lights. I'll be doing the living room and the dining room. We'll take a break, um, break our fast and continue later tonight. I know, it, makes it feels me feel like, like it's we're over. cheating. It's not, even though it's halfway through. But I know, I know, it feels like we're cheating. It just, yeah. But we'll be spending it somewhere else, inshallah. Inshallah, Maybe I can just keep this for now because I feel like that table is a little too empty. That could be cute. Good morning, guys. So as you can see, the house is still a mess. Uh, we didn't end up doing much last night other than breaking our fast, picking Adam up from my in-law's house and coming right back home to sleep. We were so, so exhausted. I think from the last couple of days of just doing so much work, around the house we just said you know what let's just listen to our bodies and sleep um so i'm glad we did because we woke up with so much energy this morning and i feel like i can tackle everything and hopefully get everything done by today so this right here is all of muhammad's things so he's done packing um we're just waiting for a couple of things to dry so we can put it in the luggage close it up and then he is done now for Adumi, his clothes is still here in the corner where it was yesterday. I was on TikTok and I found this hack, guys, for packing like baby things. So I want to give that a try and see if it helps me. Adumi's things, Muhammad's thing is done. Now I have to pack. So let's go through my closet and see what I should bring with me. If there's anything you need to know about me is that I love sets. They're just the most comfortable thing. And honestly, after becoming a mom, these are just my go-to clothes, sets, pants with matching tops. So I'm taking this with me. Another set comes with pants. Lately, I've been loving blazers, so I'm going to take a couple of these. Oh my god, guys, I could literally cry from joy because I am almost done with packing. Now, I left Adam's clothes for last because there's this hack that I wanted to try out that I saw from TikTok, an easier way to pack for babies. So I want to show you what I bought and how I'm packing Adam's things. So basically, the hack that I saw was a woman who used a shoe rag as a clothing organizer for her baby. So basically what she did was organize her baby's outfits. Uh, let's say like a Monday outfit, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, and she put a diaper with each outfit and just put it inside. It makes it easier for her to visibly see what outfit she packed for her kid. This is so genius. I'm really excited to pack Adam's clothes. So let's get started. So now it's time to put it inside. I'm also going to fit these shoes inside, bring in these as well, and these. Some socks. Now check this out. Not only did all of Adam's clothes fit inside, but there was still enough room to put his diapers and his water wipes. I give this hack a 10 out of 10. So easy, simple, and it saves so much time.